Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and today is day number 138 of 365 Days of Awesome Celebrate Success Through Service. And yes, I have pictures up as I start again. I do not have someone live uh, today, and that is on purpose. You'll find out here soon. I want to start by actually um, telling you about one of our service heroes. Her name is Ashley Nelson, and actually actually contacted me today uh, to see if anybody in the the service hero club uh, or any of the speakers that would know Roger Salam and the the mastermind Christmas uh, or the holiday boat uh, mastermind that he has for the million dollar club um, she has another obligation she has a ticket and so I promised her that I would start off the show by saying that, hey, if anybody has um, has the, the, the time and would like to go, she'd like to talk to you. She has one of the tickets. And they're very rare to come by now. I think it's just about sold out. So if, uh, if that's you, please, uh, please check with her and, um, and get a hold of her because, uh, she has another obligation. I think she's, I'm not sure what it is that she's doing. And I'm just checking that I'm live. I am. Okay. All right. So that's a housekeeping item for one of our service heroes. I hope that this, uh, that someone is able to get this ticket and go on the, the mastermind um, boat, uh, the ship. It, it should be a lot of fun. Okay, now I want to get to business. I want to talk to you about what it is that actually one day number 138 of 365 Days of Awesome Celebrate Success Through Service is all about. Do you know what this is? It is the Giving Tuesday Heart. It represents a day of giving and let's go a little bit deeper into it. It is right after Thanksgiving here in the United States. You have Thanksgiving. You then have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and now Giving Tuesday. It's become a day of giving throughout the world. A day to um, recognize volunteerism, philanthropic endeavors, uh, charities of choice and yes to donate to those nonprofits that are out there doing something good for the the audience and the group that you would be the community that you'd be interested in helping and in serving I want to talk about the fact that this Giving Tuesday is going to be the nonprofit that I run, Chemo Buddies for Life, it is going to be our first fundraiser. Yes, we are launching our first one, and it is going to be in Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> and um, I am, I am coming to you now to kick off this because it has, uh, it is the beginning of. November. We have 25 days until this fundraiser will be taking place. And I want to tell you what we're going to be doing. As many of you know, I think out of sight of the box. I don't even know that there is a box, actually, a lot of people say. And that's probably true. Uh, I, I, uh, you know, I come from the for-profit world. I've worked as an international headhunter, as many of you know, I worked in, you know, recruitment, headhunting, then went to international headhunting, did a three-year stint in commercial real estate, and then I took some time off to be with my family, found out I had cancer. So the story goes, and I want for those that don't know the story, for you to hear the story again, because it is important. It is important to you, for you to understand why I am doing what I am doing. Yes, this is me. This is me when I uh, first lost my hair to chemotherapy. I did go through chemotherapy 
though I am supporting people through my nonprofit that are going through traditional, adjunctive, and alternative methods. Whatever works for you is great. All I ask is that you don't do it alone. So the story then goes on that I did have my experience for three years with a buddy, thus the buddies, chemo buddies, chemo buddies for life. I met my original buddy, Martha, in the chemotherapy room. Since then, we have been building a group of buddies and we've been doing it for nearly a year now. And I have been posting some videos. Please watch them. They're pretty impactful. We have some that are still kicking and going because of the fact that they say they have a reason to live. And they have a buddy. They have a buddy community. And some of them are even service heroes. But we haven't, we haven't, we haven't been able to keep all of them. And I want you to understand what we deal with because I'm going to share a few stories right now. And so that you understand what Chemo Buddies for Life is all about. First of all, we know the statistics uh, that one in two men and one in three women uh, will face cancer. Uh, those words, you have cancer sometime in their life. And, um, you know, it's not something that that you want to hear. Absolutely not. I know that. I've heard it, as many of you know, as a granddaughter, as a daughter, as a sister, as a mother, and for myself. That's five people through one line, four generations, direct people in my family. All right. So why is this important to understand? It's because... No one should face cancer alone. I want to tell you about Denise. Denise was one of my buddies. She actually was one of my buddies. And um, we did a tutorial. The video is in the video area of the Chemo Buddies for Life page here on Facebook. It's on Facebook. I mean, uh, YouTube also you can find it. And she was just fun, a biker girl, just out there, tall, real tall compared to me. Um, and the this picture, bring it up, that picture was after she had her tutorial and she had full makeup done and that was her favorite wig. Someday I'll show you her other wig. It was fun too. Uh, but she had her favorite wig on even when we were doing the tutorial. She didn't want to go without it. So then we, uh, we went to go find, we did that picture for a poster. The poster is right there in the picture. And we went on the walk. It was a year ago, the end of September. She and I were there. She was my buddy. And we went to go find her poster. We found her poster. And she was so excited. She was very tired. So we didn't make it for the whole walk. We walked back. Oh, but she was so happy. She was Within a few months, she was put in hospice. And as the last time I went to see her, she didn't have her voice, but she could point and she was pointing at that poster saying, that was a good day. I remember that day. And that I will never forget because she was pretty sad when she first came to us to, to tape that day, to have the tutorial. And in that short period of time, we were able to work through some of the things as buddies that she needed to work on before she passed. And she did. And so she was okay to go. We have our ambassador buddy. And I want to be announcing here soon that we have a new name for our ambassadors, but we're not going to be announcing it until Giving Tuesday. And so her family will have to just wait until then. Uh, her name's Kimberly Cole. And she actually won a Service Heroes Award because of something she did. Um, unexpectedly, we lost her not long ago. But again, she loved the buddies. So why is it so important for us to raise the money 
for chemo buddies for life. Well, we need to be able to have a site to be to have them pair up. And it's not a simple site. It and we need to have someone professionally build it. We've tried to do it other ways. You can go, you can find it. It's actually alive. It is somewhere. And uh, if you want to go find it and check it out, please do. It's chemobuddiesforlife.org. That is our current website. Uh, and so we do have one, but it's not what we need. So that's where we are going to be raising money for Giving Tuesday. But with that said, I am going to talk to you about now. I think outside of the box. Anybody that knows me, I am building a movement and uh, we are now international. We have international ambassadors. We have uh, we have people that are following us that are waiting to have buddies. And yes, we will have um, translation available on the website. So what are we doing? We are working now to get four of our buddies to Vegas where we are going to be having our, our Giving Tuesday event. Yes in Vegas on the 27th and we need your help if you can help and you can help us get these deserving chemo buddies for life to Vegas I'd love to hear from you let me tell you about them number one uh, we have I'm going to tell you about Tatiana Tatiana is uh, in kidney failure right now. She's on a kidney transplant list. She has joined our community and she is working as a volunteer as our editor for the digital magazine for the Service Heroes. She's uh, also a professor by education and uh, that is her son. And her son's not even 18 years old yet. And uh, she came here from another country and was, uh, she was educated outside of the mainland United States. And she is originally from uh, the Eastern Bloc in um, the, over in Europe. And so she has no family here. We are her family and she is our buddy. And we wanna get her to Vegas for a VIP experience. Let me tell you next about Dimple. Dimple, has had cancer, she's in remission right now. And why would we pick someone in remission? Well, it's because her story is not unique and it needs to be told that when you go through cancer, sometimes depending on, on the people around you, they misunderstand the cancer or they just don't wanna be around it for some reason. So they ostracize the patient and they no longer have their circle of friends. That's what happened to Dimple. Dimple is amazing. She is a gifted brain, uh, technical, and absolutely spectacular. And she is our buddy. And we would like to get her to Vegas for a VIP experience. Let me tell you next about Brett. Brett is a survivor of childhood non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He had it at 14. He is now 22 years old. And this is, yes, Frank Shankwitz, the founder of Make-A-Wish Foundation. And anybody that knows Frank knows that his routine is he comes in his hat. That's part of his story. You need to see the Wish Man movie. It will be out soon. Watch for it. So he comes with his hat. And if he finds a wish kid or someone that he wants to share that hat with. He does a picture with him with the hat. And then the next picture is he puts the hat ceremoniously on the next person. And he did that with Brett. It was a highlight of Brett's experience out there at the city summit not long ago in LA. And of which he got to meet some of the stars from the wish man. It was spectacular. Um, Brett, one thing too that uh, is very important for us all to understand is that at any time, no matter how many years, it used to be said if you made it five years, that you were fine, that you weren't going to have cancer. It, it, it was gone. You were, it, you were cancer free. 
Now there's a different school of thought, and that is, as my oncologist surgeon says, they're slippery suckers, and they like to try to live, and so they hide, and they do all sorts of really horrible things like that. And so we're always going through testing and, and possible reoccurrence, I had announced when I was having a really rough day after a car accident, uh, the day after, that uh, I was being tested. I received my test results yesterday, and I'm okay. I want you to all know that. So uh, I am going to be around kicking for a while and, and talking about Chemo Buddies for Life and sharing service heroes. And um, so Brett, Brett, just he lives with his mother, a single mom, and she just went through a possible scare and then he his story and why we're bringing we want him to be able to attend the service heroes uh celebration benefiting chemo buddies for life on giving tuesday is because when you transition from pediatric oncology to adult oncology it's not always a smooth transition and he has had a really rough transition and tried to be the best of sports. He has also been one of my very first volunteers and been with me for over a year now. I actually met him at the same walk that you just saw Denise's, Denise and I uh, by her poster. That was the day I met Brett. Brett is an intern over at our local radio station and going to college and a chemo buddy for life um, and uh, a volunteer and he has done whatever I've needed over this last year help me with images for the chemo buddies for life store do you know we have one yes we do he's helped with uh, subtitles he has helped with uh, mailers just anything that needed to be done he's been there and it's like when do you need me Tamara? and I'm uh, okay I'll be there no matter what and I have to say that that has really meant so much to me. So the fact that not only is he having a rough time trying to get through from pediatric oncology to adult oncology, he needs to be retested also. So there's an urgency in my mind in regards to this. And there's a stress knowing that his mother just went through testing and he is facing possible testing. I love you too. I'm going to about talk to you about you in a moment here. Um, so that is Brett. Brett, and I want to get him to Vegas. And now let me share Lisa. Let me take Brett down and I'm going to share Lisa. Lisa is my buddy. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to hide that. This is the picture I've, I pulled. Um, I look like I'm a giant compared to you, Lisa. <laughs> I should have been another picture, sorry. Um, nothing I can do about it now. Lisa, I'm just going to, I'm going to put it down. Let me tell you about Lisa, and I'm going to read something. Lisa is a stage four brain cancer warrior. She's a warrior, this one. She's amazing. And she and Bailey, her little dog, uh, hang out together. And it's not always easy. That's one reason we need the buddy site to be up and functional and working. And I have such a fire in my gut to make it happen. I want to read something to you. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read a portion of it. It's something that Lisa wrote. She wrote it yesterday. And don't worry, I've already checked with her today. She's having a better day. And I'll tell you a little bit after this. Just, you know, life, let's just put it this way. Life continues to happen even when you are in the battle of your life, for your life things still happen and sometimes things that are not that would just really mess up anybody's day and she's had a week like that so she wrote this um, in her words quote cancer sucks and another reason why chemo buddies for life is so important sometimes in life we fight battles that no one really understands 
we as individuals look at things differently. I have had my share of battles in my life. And then she goes on. She's also had, uh, I also have been the judgmental person of people that I thought had it better than me. She's being honest and she's being open here, wishing that they had to deal with life the same way that, that she's had to deal with it. And she doesn't understand it. I'm going to paraphrase here. It's just a little longer because sometimes, you know, she's been really careful with her choices. And sometimes people that don't make as careful of choices end up not having cancer. And sometimes we as Girl Scouts do. There's, you know, I was telling someone earlier, cancer doesn't is not a respecter of people, religions, geographic, financial, uh, any type of, any kind of background. Cancer doesn't care. It just picks whoever it wants to pick and we don't know the rhyme or reason. Okay, so then let's continue in Lisa's words. Life has not been easy this past week or so. And my mind is thinking really hard about things. My heart hurts and my tears flow freely. This is life. No matter how you look at it, it can, it can overwhelm you so much. You wonder how you can make it through. And remember in the beginning, she did say that that is why Chemo Buddies for Life is so important. And she is my buddy. So I checked on her. And she's having a better day. Um, you know, thus, uh, I love you too, my buddy. Um, and I'm working to get you to Vegas. We're working to get these four worthy chemo buddies for life. I'm actually, I can't hide me because you wouldn't be able to hear me if you, if I hide myself. So I want you to understand that when I am talking about raising funds and we've put donation buttons up, that can happen for anyone. And, and there's so many deserving nonprofits out there. I know that. I know that. I highlight through the Service Heroes program, many of them. But I am coming to you as the ex also, Tamara Hunter of the, you know, of the Service Heroes show, yes, the host and founder of it, producer of it, whatever you want to say. But I'm also right now coming as the executive director for Chemo Buddies for Life. And I'm letting you know that we are producing, we are having, we are inviting you to help us get these four amazing chemo buddies for life to Vegas to give them experience of a lifetime to give them a VIP experience and let them know how important they are and to share with our other chemo buddies within the community because we share everything we stream video and they watch it they gobble it up, if you will, and they know that they many of them are shut-ins. Like, I was a shut-in when I went through chemotherapy. I was not allowed out of my room. I wish I would have had a chemo buddy for life. And guess what? I did. My wish came true. I didn't even know to wish for it, but it happened. So... Others now know that we have chemo buddies for life, but we have to do it manually. There's no reason why we should have to with the kind of technology that's out there, but that takes, that requires funds. Thus, the fundraiser. Now, people are saying, Tamara, are you crazy? And I'm saying, always. That's who I am. <laughs> How do you think you're going to pull this off? Because you're late to the game. And you know what I said? It's because everyone has a service hero inside of them. And I have a tremendous amount of friends and service heroes and service heroes that have that service hero in them. 
and they just need to awaken that sleeping service hero giant to say, I can pass up a coffee. I can pass up my favorite hamburger. I can do something nice for someone else because you know what? By golly, I'm a service hero. So, service heroes, attention. <laughs> I need you. The goal is, let's, let's do this right. Okay. Uh, sh the goal is, should you accept it, that we are working to get four chemo buddies for life to Las Vegas, coming from different areas of the United States to then have a VIP experience in Las Vegas. Okay, I'm gonna put up um, the, the sign there. Yes, so um, a spectacular event. Now, <laughs> uh, we're still working on the venue. We believe we have one, but you know, they've been dragging their knuckles and we need to know we've got a location. So. If you're in Las Vegas, and I know I have a lot of friends that are there, that's why I go there. If you want to help us find a venue that is willing to let us have a, a, a celebration, let me know. I'd love it. Amazing. I agree. I agree, Erin. Amazing for many different reasons. And that's one of our service heroes that understands cancer also well because of her children's grandfather that had it. Okay, so back to the assignment. Should you be willing to take it, service heroes? That is that I need, I need a venue still. If the venue that has been telling us, basically saying yes, probably, but hasn't given us the green light wants to come aboard and say, yes, great. They're gonna get plenty of very good will. If not, let's make this happen. I've talked to some people today. I've talked to people yesterday. And until we have that location, by golly, I'm not stopping. And we've got quite a few people that are, are, are hoping, not hoping, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make this happen because we've got buddies that need to have a buddy. We need to find buddies for people. And so we need to have this fundraiser. And then we need to create four amazing VIP experiences for four very deserving chemo buddies for life. Okay, so venue, next. And and we may have one. I will say this. It's, it's not that I don't think that we're going to have an event. We will have an event. No matter what, we're going to have one. So don't give up hope, save that date. Okay, plane tickets, we need them still. Anybody know anybody? Anybody own an airplane? Anybody wanna fly some chemo buddies for life? I need one to come from Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia, Wichita, Kansas, Atlanta, Georgia, and Southern California. If I need to put Brett in a car to get to Vegas, I will. But it would be nice for him to be able to fly like the others. All right. We do have VIP limo set up. We do have um, uh, some other of the services set up. We're still looking. If someone wants to create a VIP experience for these fine people to go to like a dress shop and try on some dresses with some sparkling cider, not sparkling alcoholic cider. No, no, no. The non-alcoholic kind. Um, and, and that would maybe even have tuxes there for our one gent. That would be awesome. And Anne Marie, one of my uh, service heroes and fellow cancer um, supporters uh, that is in Vegas. Yes, I am. I am not giving up until this thing happens. And I want to thank you for your support. Anne Marie has, uh, she has donated some uh, really cool packages. And so wait until you find out about those. Okay, so plain. We've talked about wardrobe and uh, now housing or a room, uh, some kind of a hotel situation. We may have that in, in the wings, but we don't have it summed up. So if someone can help with that, I'd love to hear from them. 
so that's what what my task is and people are like you've got 25 days left girl can you make this happen absolutely why not right i need to hear from you and but i know that there's a lot of very good people and if if at all you want to do what i suggested and that's give up your coffee give up a hamburger give up something and you want to donate now all the proceeds will be going directly to making this happen um i want to show here i want to say thank you we have started to get some support and i want to i want to have a shout out to don mcgrath of contour leadership thank you for your help and i want to say thank you to uh, i don't have pictures right now but to margie shepherd and bruce Marin. they have um donated uh these amazing bands that are jeweled for those that would be coming that would be have a wig we have someone that's reached out to some of the cancer groups in the area and yes if you are currently going through cancer or a survivor of cancer we want you there and your ticket will be free uh, so come come and enjoy the buddy community come be a part of our community and uh, celebrate with the service heroes also i am going to here be uh, sharing once i get a picture of the dress we have a dress that we've been given to auction off and i don't know how we're going to auction it and if anybody has any ideas please come to me but it's a designer gown that is one of only four that was produced by this amazing designer and um it's supposed to be worth something like twenty thousand dollars do we want to get full price absolutely it's a donation that will go a long way all right so as i end i want to say that no one should face cancer alone no one and giving tuesday has been designed for those that have worthy causes to be able to go out there and raise the funds needed to make those causes those movements matter and that is the intent of what we are going to be doing for Chemo Buddies for Life in Las Vegas on Giving Tuesday. So save the date, come to Vegas, make your plans. We will make this happen. There is no doubt in my mind. Anything is possible and gee whiz willikers, I believe it. My name is Tamara Hunter. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Chemo Buddies for Life. And I am the host of Service Heroes. And I want to close day one, num number 138 of 365 days of awesome. Celebrate success through service and say, I know that each of you are a service hero and that you can help us. And the way you can do that and and help immediately is to go to this site. Yes, it is our website. It is not functional. Sorry, I'm tired. I have been not sleeping much lately. I really want this to happen, uh, but go there and donate. It is a donation. It's tax deductible. We are a 501c3 and everything is legal, up board, honest, um, and help me make this happen. Contact me directly if you'd like. Uh, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything. Hello, Lori. Hello. All right. I'm going to close now and say I know that we can make this happen. And uh, I'm counting down. Count down with me and let's, let's see four chemo buddies for life have a VIP experience once in a lifetime situation. And let's show Lisa that a lot of people love her and care. Thank you.